Please, that's what you did. Um, the Russian Ministry of Defense says that in Aleppo there was recently a chemical weapons attack and that it was conducted by the Harakat Nur al Zenki organization, which is an opposition group that has received support from the United States. Um, is the United States still supporting this organization? Uh, so unaware of that allegation, the only thing I'm aware of is the alleged chemical uh, weapons attack uh, on the town of Sarakan. Uh, I don't. I think we're talking about separate incidents. If I'm, if I'm correct, I don't know. I'm referring uh, this, to something in Aleppo. This was. You're talking about something in Aleppo. So, haven't seen those reports. Obviously, as we said with the uh, uh, incident that took place, I think uh, two days ago, allegedly, uh, there were reports of chemical weapons being used in a, another town. But it, the same would hold true with this. Is uh, you know, obviously, uh, we condemn strongly uh, the use of any chemical weapons and any credible allegations of their use. Uh, in Syria uh, will investigate. And I believe it's the purview of the OPC, uh, OPCW uh, that, would, um, that, that would carry out such an investigation. As to your follow-on question about this group, um, I don't have in front of me that we actually fund them. I mean, we, uh, you're saying we, we provide them with assistance? Yes, as part of the, the so-called moderate opposition. Yeah. I, I don't know what now the group again, also I, don't, I haven't seen the allegations yet so I think it's too early for me to a make that assessment and B make that connection well, it's been said that that the State Department is also investigating allegations I mean there's a video of this group beheading a 10 year old Palestinian yes. boy yeah, um, how are those investigations going has there been any result um, uh, yeah so we did talk about that we were looking into those uh, that incident uh, obviously we condemned uh, if it were true I know that the group itself said that they had also uh, made some arrests and then set up a commission of inquiry into the uh, into the um, incident. I don't have any updates at this point in time, but I can certainly check and get back to you. So what does a rebel group in Syria have to do to not receive U.S. funds any longer? What is what is the line that they must cross? What kind of controversial incident must take place for a group to stop receiving U.S. funds? Well, first of all, um, there's a, a lot of vetting of the Syrian moderate opposition uh, that has already taken place. And it's not just by the U.S., but it's by uh, all the members of the ISSG and, frankly, the U.N. Uh, and it was established that uh, al-Nusra, as well as uh, Daesh or ISIL, were considered to be, by all members and by the U.N., to be uh, terrorist organizations. Um, I, I think, again, these are not easy processes, um, and uh, one incident here and there would not necessarily make you a terrorist group. Now, let me be, let me. Uh, be very clear that we don't condone any of the activities that you just cited, uh, possible use of chemical weapons, possible beheading of a young child, any human rights abuses, any of those things would give us serious cause for concern. Uh, that said, uh, where we are in the broader geopolitical or political situation in, uh, in Syria is, uh, and one of the, uh, the ongoing discussions that we've been having with Russia is how do we clearly delineate between these known terrorist groups, Nusra and Daesh, and the moderate opposition. And how do we have a clear understanding of who is where so that we can, longer game here, get back in place a, a cessation of hostilities that is credible, that can also then jumpstart the political process. So it sounds to me like what you're saying is that even if these allegations are true, there's still a chance that the United States would continue supporting these groups. Is that what you're saying? I'm not making any, uh, I'm not frankly answering any hypotheticals. We just don't know at this point. Uh, as I said, uh, we would regard any of the acts that you mentioned uh, or cited, uh, and again, they are just allegations at this point. We take them very seriously and look into them They're and investigate them. They're not a red line Again, and, and I, U.S. support. I, uh, so for a terrorist organization, there are fundamental uh, actions, one of which is an intention to carry out terrorist attacks, uh, both within Syria but as well as on the West. Um, you know, some of these groups, uh, as I said, Nusra and al-Qaeda have – or, well, al-Qaeda is not al-Nusra. Uh, they're one and the same. And Daesh uh, have expressed and indeed acted on uh, these intentions. But as to the other members of the moderate Syrian opposition, Look, we're constantly evaluating their behavior, and frankly, for them to be a member of the moderate Syrian opposition and to be part of uh, the cessation of hostilities and the Syrian Democratic Forces, uh, it requires that they meet the standards. And those standards are respect for human rights and adherence to a cessation of hostilities. And does that include not using chemical weapons? Is of that course. part of the standard? Of course. 
So you, you're, the, you're, you're still looking into the chemical weapons charges? Yes. Yeah, I don't have any updates forth. on that. So, no. yeah. Just to be clear, if a group was using chemical weapons, their funding would be cut off. Again, I, 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 I will not make any uh, statements of one or the other until we know all the facts and have determined who was to blame for any. I mean, honestly, this is the first time I'm hearing about a report for use of chemical weapons. But again, we have also seen reports of the use of chemical weapons uh, on, a, on another town, uh, and we're looking into that. So, I mean, again, we just don't have a policy not to support groups that use chemical weapons. We condemn the use of chemical y weapons. Yes, but do you have a policy of not supporting groups that do such things? Again, we would evaluate any support for any groups that are, are engaged in any kind of activity that, frankly, go against international norms. The other thing you said was the possible beheading. Are, are you not convinced that the, the video is No, I'm, is accurate? I, 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 I'm just not aware that we've determined who exactly who is, was behind who is actually it. Behind it. Thank you.